Hello? Oh. Go away! <sighs> Ooh. Hats. Red hats. Small hats. Tall hats. Clothes. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. Can you fucking stop staring at me, you weirdo? <laughs> I was being sneaky. No. Not allowed to be sneaky. Man's gonna come in and stare at me and be like, Hey, you, buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, it landed! Aww. Disappointment. Can I do it again? Maybe this one's forever... No, it's not. I was hoping it'd forever land the right way up and then I'd be like, Oh my goodness, it's the greatest day of my life, but apparently not. Oh, another room with, like, another terminal. But there's no dude in here. Oh. I, re I need a key. I wonder if the key's in the safe. Let's see. Science skill of 50. So we haven't done the robot thing, then, I don't think. Or did we? Ah, fuck, I don't know. And I don't have a lockpick skill of 75. Let's see, let's look at my stats. Whoops, wrong button. Where are they? Where are my stats? Uh, I'm not looking at the right thing, it's here. Where is my science? My science is in here. Oop, here. Oh no, it's high enough. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> Alright, so if I get something, if I use an item that raises my science, I'll be able to do it then, right? It's in it, I believe. Uh, what was it? It was called... Something specific. Mentats? Mentats. I've become addicted to Mentats, did that just say? Oh, great. Well, I'm addicted to two things now. What a shame. I didn't even hack it yet. Go! I'm just getting to it. Right, let's see. I see curtains. Does it, is it giving me a number of numbers? Number of letters? Factions. Try that. One of eight. Million. Fuck. Concerns. Well, power down. Let's just break it. Let's just break it open. Oh, almost. Hey, bottle cap. Oh, 200 bottle caps. 200 bottle caps. Worth it. Worth everything. Oh my god, we found like the food depot. What the fuck? Food everywhere. I wonder if there's any bobbleheads up in Tenpenny Tower. Some books, some coffee mugs, broken shit. We found like the jackpot of everything. We could steal it all. We could rule the universe. I wonder if the other safe has got some good stuff in it or not. If people start shooting me, by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. To be honest, I think my camera's high enough to take the hit. So if we just steal from here as well, then it'll be fine. Not that weird at all. Okay. Hey, got it, fast strike. 300 caps! Ha! Oh, I'm rich! I got 500 caps looting this place! Sweet! Woo! What's this way? Oh, there's stuff this way. Is the more, there's the more things to loot? Please, 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 please. Toilets, I think. Why is one circle and one triangle? It hurts! My OC dizzle! Nothing. Nothing. Ghoul. Nothing. <laughs> Just a ghoul head pops out the toilet. Hello. Garbage can. Oh, it counts as stealing if I take something that someone doesn't want. Are you kidding me? There's not even anything in it, but it's still dumb. Also, my HP's a little low. Let, let, yeah, we'll drink some of this. It's only three rads. Yeah, we're fine for rads anyway. No worries. Get our HP up. We might have to fight people. You never know. You cannot save right now. I didn't try and save. The game did, but I didn't do anything. Oh, it's a dead end. <laughs> I thought it might go around. Is that the woman? Don't know. I'm having an exploration. Wellness center. So the doctor's gonna be in here. Oh, maybe he can cure my addiction. Hello? Doctor? <gasps> no one saw nothing. No one saw nothing. No one's here. If he was just sat behind the desk and I took that, I'd have been like so, so scared. That touched me. Anything in the filing cabinets? Some magnum rounds? 
Just Magnum Rams? Nah, I don't need them. I don't need them, like, straight up, so I'm not going to bother with those. There's a cup there. Nice plant. It's not really... Is, like, the doctor just not here? What's that? He has a telephone on a thing. Ha ha! <laughs> I ruined your telephone. Wow, a can of cigarettes. Ooh, health thing. Medical supplies requires key. Damn. <laughs> I was just looking down wondering what that was then. Forgot that I threw the phone on the floor. It only happened three seconds ago. I have great memory. Alright, what else is in here then? Is Tenpenny Man anywhere? Oh, there's a guy laying in the bed. Hello, Anthony Ling. <laughs> He'll never know. There we go. Alright, release the gas. Oh, cheese it! He'll never know we were in there. I'm sure. Oh, she's just Tenpenny Resident. She's no one special. Yes. These people aren't important. They don't have names, so they're not important. Who cares? Dude. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he in here? Did he go? Did he go downstairs? What the fuck? Ah! My eyes! Mentats withdrawal. Where'd he go? <laughs> I like teabagged him while he was sleeping and now he's gone somewhere. I've scared him off. There's literally nothing anywhere. I'm having a good old explore in case I miss something, like in case there's something in here. But there's nothing. There's nothing anywhere. Like. Is that a block? Did I find block? Oh, it's the same bun. Never mind. You know, I thought there, would there was already one, but I wasn't sure. Alt works as well. Who knew? Hello? Free Edgar. Oh! Oh! Whoops. Where am I now? Did I go higher up? Uh, hello! It is I! Exploration database. Let's have a nosy. Hello, daring. May the twilight of your life be filled with the same wonder and adventure as your youth. People. What the fuck? Uh, King Crag. Good old Craggy, king of Rockopolis. He offered Argyle and me shelter back in the summer of... 48. Unfortunately, there was a little incident with his daughter, and we were exiled. Good job. We sought shelter again a couple of years later, but Craggy didn't take too kindly to us lurking, uh, luring the slavers into his hidden underground city. That was the last time I ever saw Argyle, right after he saved my hide for the hundredth time. Oh, so this is like some kind of documentation of someone's life. Miss Penelope Chase, two-timing bitch. She got what she deserved. Well, Destiny Chow? Chaos? <laughs> Chaos? Chow? I'm going to go with Chow. Um, my dearest Destiny... Uh, Harriet par excellence and the proprietor of the Blue Destiny Brothel, one of the loveliest women I've ever had the pleasure to pleasure. Oh my god. Sadly, she died from cholera in the summer of 49, uh, an event that closed down the brothel forever. Wow. Argyle, the best man servant a guy could ask for. Tough, loyal, and a hell of a good friend. He even gave good blowjobs. <laughs> even if he did smell like a bag of rotten meat. But that, what's a ghoul gonna do? Wear deodorant, I guess, probably. The last time I saw Argyle was in Rockopolis, decades ago. I know he's still out there somewhere. And Harmon Jelly, slave leader and psychotic cannibal. Circa 2250, see entry on Paradise Falls. Places. Cool. Paradise Falls, the most dangerous dump in the capital wasteland. The slavers there would have uh, bought and sold anything with a pulse. They still will from what I hear. Back in my day, they were more disorganized though. Their leader was a guy named Harmon Jerley, a psychotic son of a bitch who was rumoured to eat the slaves he couldn't sell. Well. What's Rockopolis? Eh, <laughs> Rockopolis. Uh, an underground city. Not a bad accomplishment, all things considered. But their leader, King Craig, became too uh, isolationist for his own good. Okay, so I accidentally led the slavers there, and those bastards cleaned the place out. It was an honest mistake. Blue Destiny Brothel, the best damn whorehouse in the capital wasteland. Strong booze and soft women. It shut down in the summer of 49 when most of the ladies died from a cholera outbreak. RIP. The Underworld? Jeez, we're gonna go see Hades? 
A city of the dead, or undead as some would believe. Underworld was and is a settlement of ghouls, established in an old art exhibit in the Museum of American History. Isn't that where we have to go? We have to go to some museum, because we have to get the disc for Three Dog. Uh, our gal and I used to go there quite a bit. I was even voted honorary ghoul back in 51. I really should go back and visit sometime. Wasn't it like, didn't it, didn't he lose the dude before that? I don't know. Uh, a town built around an undetonated atomic bomb. My kind of place. Megaton is a pretty well fought, uh, Megaton is pretty well fortified now. But back in the day, it was even more ramshackle. Uh, even more ramshackle. Great place to grab a drink or a broad. I hear Moriarty even has his own place now. Guess that shouldn't surprise me. That guy's been playing the angle since the day he ended up in this country as a kid. Pests are uh, just meh. Unless maybe it has information on killing them. My Alex, goddamn walking crabs. Tough to kill, but pretty li uh, pretty delicious afterwards. The outer carapace is held to generate or penetrate. The good thing their face isn't armored. Oh, it kind of gives tips because it tells you to hit the face. And Agile had such a good right jab. Feral ghouls. Ghouls gone bad. Their brains had rotted through so much they lost their ability to think straight. Agile and I thought these hapless zombie bastards more times than I can count. I think he actually liked killing them. Saw it as some sort of revenge against God for his own situation or something. We don't need to know about red scorpions. Yao Guai. Bears or the capital wasteland's equivalent anyway. You're not going to find one of these babies balancing on a big rubber ball. Oh, ball though. I can tell you that much. There are, um... There are... Th there are... They're as vicious, I'm going to go with. They're as vicious as they come. Razor sharp claws, razor sharp teeth, nasty, nasty temperament. Robo brains. I have to admit, I've always been fascinated by these things. Such an in uh, ingenious creation. A robot powered by a brain. And a sexy dim's voice, of course. I was had to wonder, were they human brains? Were they actually the brains of sexy dims? Or is it all the monkey brains and recordings? Uh, anyways. I got hit by one of their mind blast ones. Hell of a headache for three days. Huh. So this guy's like an adventurer than whoever lives in this room? Any adventurer in here? Did he take an arrow to the knee? Oh, he's in bed. Oh, I can't get in the safe. Hello, Dare Herbert Daring Dashwood. Hello! Hello! Herbert Dashwood. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else does. Okay, Daring. Daring. Bet you had to earn that nickname, huh? Maybe you've heard the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Oh Herbert my god! Dashwood? It's this Daring Dashwood! You know, no idea who the fuck he is. Earlier days. I even had a ghoul manservant. Let me ask you, you ever met a ghoul before? Yeah, there's one working in the bar. Uh, sure, I've met some ghouls, oh, they're just trying to get by. You already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. Uh, I bet you know a thing or two about the, those some ghouls. ghouls. moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. Well, the intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. I'll be here to help, don't worry. The guy was frightening people, but I, I kind of put an end to that. Whoops, a doodle. <laughs> um, I can take care of this ghoul situation, no problem. An adventurous soul like myself. If I wasn't retired, I might come with you myself. Oh man, I want the companion of Daring Dashwood. Mods! Uh, what's it like living at Tempenny well, Tower? Recently, the only danger you ever faced in this fine establishment was bumping into all the bloated egos floating around. <laughs> but now there's a group of ghouls nearby. I've tried explaining that they don't all want to eat you, though some do, of course. You just, yeah, but is, you can't tell, yeah. You tell which is which. Chief Gustavo has initiated a shoot first and ask later policy. If they're smart, they'll stay away. Uh, you mentioned something about Gina. Have you ever heard the radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That guy at the radio station put it Good old three dog. Years ago. That's my boy. He did it in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. And it's all true. Rockopolis. No. Chase, all of it. What? Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. 
Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, I'll believe you. The days. Uh, tell me about Argyle. Argyle was my manservant. Ah, but that's really just a fancy word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular occasion. He was a ghoul, you see. Been around since I've heard your thing. I know. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. What? We've been best friends <laughs> was she a ghoul best. too? We got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll let you know, buddy. Uh, make a name for yourself. Okay. Goodbye. I guess if we find his friend, we can let him know. That's, that's nice. Anything in his mailbox? Anything lootable? Hello? Mr. Tenpenny? Too easy. Why don't I just take it all? Good point, Brain. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's so good to be a looter. There's not even anyone in here anywhere. So, not my problem. Yuck. Shut the door. Keep going. Ooh, Nuka Cola. Am I allowed this? Can I just take this? I can just take that. Cool. It's mine now. See ya. You're gonna all die of dehydration. Oh, someone in the bed. Any more safes? Any more safes anywhere? Got some loot in to do? Why would you keep bottles in the... Oh, whatever. Michael Hawthorne. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you, random stranger. I'm surprised it's not like, who the fuck I are you? Why are you Michael standing over Hawthorne. my bed? Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? Well, I mean, I could matter you. <laughs> I'm your worst nightmare. Well, then you'll excuse me if I don't invite you to share a drink. Really, you're as much fun as a couple of ghouls. They're trying to get in here, you know. Don't suppose you've ever had to deal with ghouls before? Well, what, well, what's a ghoul? Never heard of it. Uh, you could say I'm an expert when it comes to dealing with really? ghouls. Fantastic. You can give that Gustavo a lesson or two. Uh, what's I living at Tenpenny well, Tower? It's a great place to live. Are these people all saying if the same shit? Like seriously? Breathing down your neck. I have to go now. Oh, you're leaving now. Okay. <laughs> what am I not allowed to leave? Go. Some people.